it's butter making day. Yay! And we have way too much milk right now. We have, ooh, that's probably around 13 gallons of milk and it's gonna make since we have Holsteins we don't have as much butter fat so we're not gonna get as much butter but that's okay it's a good way to use up our milk um, right now I am going to just use my cream separator I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of these these are amazing I would highly highly recommend getting a cream separator they are worth every penny I believe this one I'll try to show you guys right now this one was about $250 I believe and it was I was a little skeptical at first, but it's been great. No problems. There's a lot of little parts, but totally worth it. So I'm going to put the fat free milk basically down the drain because we don't drink that. And then we're going to put the cream in this uh, bowl right there. So that's just the first step. Um, there's different ways to get your cream. You can just get it from the grocery store. You can actually skim it off the top of your milk. I don't know if you've seen that before. If you are able to get some sort of raw milk, you'll see there's a cream line on it. Here's some of our milk, as you can see. There's a line right there. See, right there. That's the cream. You could scoop that off the top. Let's see, there's that one right there. Yep. It's fun to see the cream line. This one, yep. It takes a day for it to kind of um, settle. So so this is cow milk. We have Holsteins. If you have a goat, are you able to get goat milk? Goat milk is actually natural homogenized, so it actually does not separate. You won't see a cream line on goat milk. But cow milk, you will. And Jerseys, they have the higher butter fat. They're the ones with little brown cows, and they're like the best um, homesteader cow because, oh, here we go. There's a light right there because they actually have a high butter fat. So my little Kimball thing is going crazy. Ooh. There we go, it's not letting, I just got this little, uh, I think it's a Kimball, is that? No, that's probably not right. It's it's something that you can, you know, move around and I am just learning it and it's just going crazy. Oh, we also have a CrossFit gym here in the garage if you're wondering what all of this contraption is. Um, so, anywho, uh, that's why it's kind of moving everywhere and I don't know what I'm doing, so uh, I'm just learning this, so bear with me, please. There's different ways that you can actually make butter, but at this very moment, we're gonna go over just getting the cream from our wonderful milk. And you're gonna watch that right now. Here it comes. I probably have about one gallon 
or a little more of cream. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit outside since it's about 35-ish, 39-ish degrees. And then it's going to cool down. You definitely want this to be cooled down before you start making it into butter. I'm all done with the cream separator. So now we want to take it apart and there's a lot of little items and once you've done it a few times it's actually not intimidating at all. But the first initial time you do it, it is very intimidating. So I will just kind of show you step by step. So this is the plug and this opens and closes it when you're ready to have the milk flow through. This is clearly the top, it just comes right off, Doesn't it's not on there snug at all. And there's like a little pillow shaped plastic piece and then this sucker and then this is where the um, cream comes up and through and down and then the non-fat milk comes through there I'll take those apart and then this one is where all the magic happens there's like I believe there's 12 little discs in there that we have to take off and we loosen this top part first. I'll show you how we do that. All right, so your cream separator will come with this little contraption, and that is what we can loosen this with. We'll take this off. So this portion is done. I'll just kind of clean it up and then put it away. And then, so, Basically, as it's dripping out, you just loosen it. Hold on one sec. All right, so you loosen it. And then you take this sucker off. And then here's the inner discs. And then inside, I'm trying to hover over the sink because it's uh, dripping everywhere. And this little white portion here that you just a little pieces. All these discs come out. Make sure you get the bottom one because it'll just stick. Sometimes you need to get a little knife. Ooh, I got it. All right, so that's the bottom, and it comes with this little rubber ring. So what I do is I rinse it with some really hot water, and then I just wash everything in my dishwasher, except for this big. Uh, bowl. I actually hand wash that, but everything else you just put in the dishwasher and it cleans and sanitizes it And then once it's all dry, you just put it all back together. It's actually really simple. So that's all I'm gonna do right now So my heavy cream is ready to be turned into butter. It's about 55 degrees um, 50 degrees would be more desirable, but I really want to get this done. So um, This is where I got my butter churn from we really like it. It works really well. You can also use a KitchenAid mixer. You'll want to put either the whipping attachment or the butter, or sorry, the uh, paddles on. That seems to work too. But you want to put a towel on that because it'll go everywhere. You can also use a blender. But since we have so much cream, I really like to use our butter churn. So um, the purpose for having chilled cream, I'll show you. After I start it. All right. You want it to be chilled. Oh, see, it goes crazy in there. You want it to be chilled because if it gets to be too warm, it'll actually, you cannot tell when it actually turns into butter. It'll almost just become butter, but it's still really, um, it's whipped butter, basically. So if you have it chilled, you can actually see that it gets hard and turns into butter. What I, a little trick, I actually put some water in our refrigerator here um, early this morning, just in preparation for when it gets to the point where it's pretty much butter, um, just in case it's, it's hard to tell. Um, butter is a funny thing. It's such a simple thing, but I've had a lot of people tell me that they have a really hard time making it into butter because it basically just became whipped cream and then uh, whipped butter and that was all that they could get it to and it really shouldn't take that long to make about 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes tops but 
you don't want to go much longer than that. My butter churn has an issue where if my cream is too cold, then it's going to be like hard to turn it. So that's why I want about 50 degrees. Here we are. Lots of butter and I added about half of this, or a little over half of this cold water to it. And not long after that, it just kind of solidified and became butter. Now at this point you want to wash your butter and try to get all the buttermilk out of it until the water's pretty clear. This is my second batch. I don't have a bowl big enough so I have to do a couple rounds. Here's the one that is all cleaned and washed. It's in that little bowl. And now this one is just kind of just cleaning it. I just got it in here, so I got a lot of butter. There's more in this one than there was in the other one. So I just keep cleaning it until, um, so I'll keep rinsing it and dumping it, rinsing it and dumping it until I feel like it's clean enough. So that's, it's just, it takes a little time. Everything about butter is, it's simple yet just time consuming. All right, we got it all clean. So now we have to get it out of here and put it in the final bowl for salting. We got these beautiful girls who we get our milk from. This is Angeli. This is Arakin. Jetta. Annabelle. And Blythe. And then there's still one that's getting milked right now, and that one is um, Lolly. So these beauties give us our milk. And they're very, very sweet. We love them.